please run us through digital blackface as described in this article. So the the idea that, you know, black people's, and oftentimes, let's be honest, it's not, you know, it's not middle class, upper middle class, or non-celebrity elite black people. It's a kind of um, stereotypical poor black um exuberance that ends up in memes right memes come in all shades you know there's there's no racial component necessarily to a meme you can have you know you've got that's where you're wrong according to cnn.com <laughs> no 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 I, I i don't think so i think that what they're saying is actually that there's a type of um black hyperbolic reaction wide eyes a kind of you know a kind of African American vernacular English um, gestures, dances, physical expressions that get memed and shared, and that white people can use to outsource a kind of emotional reaction and also can be both participating in and finding funny and also using as a kind of, um, I think, sublimated racism. There's an argument for that. This is right. not a new conversation. It cropped up again on right. CNN.com in this article, but for years people have been have been uh, making this point. Uh, there was a writer, Lauren Michelle Jackson in Teen Vogue, who I think coined the phrase. My friend Camille Foster has spoken on this in the past. Um, ben Shapiro had a kind of interesting video response to this on his uh, on his televised podcast, and he said, you know, it's ridiculous. There is no, you know, America is so not racist anymore that you have to go looking for racism and creating new racism because there's actually, in fact, a, a dearth of racism, a shortage, a racism shortage in the country. Uh, you know, I think that this is one of those issues where I mostly agree with Ben, but I have to be honest and say there is a point. I think that there not all. And, and it's actually racist to think that uh, black people have to be protected from certain things that, you know, memes are funny. Using a white person on a meme is harmless. Using an Asian person on a meme is halfway harmless. And using a black person in a meme is racist and cannot be done by anybody not black. I think that when you make those kind of rules that that necessarily actually um, keeps that necessarily makes um, race a central category that we still can't get past. It, 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 it keeps us stuck yeah. in, 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 in race thinking um, in a way that's unhealthy, and it keeps us paranoid and yeah. suspicious of each other. However, I can't deny that I think there are people who use these memes in a specifically racist way that we don't use um, white people being hyperbolic. Uh, and and maybe there are yeah. ways that Asians are used in racist memes as well, but specifically a black way is a kind of it can be racist. Let's just let's just be, if anyone's ever gone on four chan. There's, there's, there's a grain of truth. There's a grain of truth there. There's a grain of truth there. I, I thought this article made a real poor argument, but I will agree that there's a grain of truth there. And I want to make sure that we we cover for people who didn't read this article. I got to make sure that we make it clear what the hell they're talking about. This article argues, and we should probably just dodge the phrase digital blackface, partly because people have used it refer to, to refer to something else. People have referred, used it to refer to when a white person will get on Twitter with an avatar of a black person and pretend to be black. That's not what they're talking about here. And also, I think you can argue that digital blackface is too hyperbolic of a term for what they're talking about. But let's just, so let's ignore that. What this article is about is using a meme to respond to something. And Thomas, you're right. They, they are often talking about a meme that is a black person having like a big reaction to something. It's mm -hmm. a black person having like a big reaction to something. And it might be a person, a black person who is, you know, is, they're not famous. They are probably poor. They are using, as you said, you know, uh, black vernacular. I, there's, I feel like there is a grain of truth there. I feel like it's the equivalent of like if you did like a real like white rednecky kind of florida man if it was a guy like maybe he's missing some teeth 
and you know he's got like a trucker hat and a mullet or whatever shirtless and and you know was just saying it's, it's always people who are like they were on the local news that's why this clip exists they were on the yes, local exactly. news exactly and just exactly. said something dumb like i can understand how you would see that and feel like oh, okay i see what you're doing there you're doing kind of like a, a redneck thing when you take the black equivalent of that guy i understand how you can react to that with okay i see what you're doing there you're doing like kind of a black minstrelly type thing i get i get that I, I get like, that that is kind of a thing. There are classic examples, like the girl who was, you know, who was talking about her eyebrows being on fleek. We in this bitch, finna get crunk. Eyebrows on fleek, the fuck? You know, and that gets, you know, and, 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 and there was a kind of nationwide rejoicing in using her voice, her linguistic uh, stylings, her, you know, her kind of funny looking appearance as a way of, you know, expressing all types of things uh, for people yeah. who were kind of wink, wink, laughing at it, as well as, you know, the fact that it's funny. And this is why it gets tricky. It's really funny. And if we're treating people as equals and respecting that <laughs> everybody can be funny, then you shouldn't say that a, you can never laugh at a poor black person because actually um, they can be funny too, uh, you know, but there's also yeah. the, you know, remember that guy, Antoine Dodson, hide your kids, hide your wife. Do you remember this? Um, I don't remember super that Super viral video um, when he was interviewed after, after a crime somewhere in the South. So y'all need to hide your kids, hide your wife, and hide your husband because they're raping everybody out here. There's countless examples. If you go on YouTube, you see all these yeah. videos of, of, of people getting interviewed on the local news that go viral and they become memefied. And it's, so it's one of those issues where I would say that, you know, I think there is some racism there. Um, I think there's not always racism there. It's not by definition racist. And so it's one of those things we yeah. can never fully know. And so it's one of those things we just have to say, human life and human psychology is messy and they're conflicting motives and we'll never fully know other people's motives. And um, let's just not concern ourselves with some of this stuff. You know, I think that you can't police every little corner of the human psyche and make rules about how people can act. And, you know, the, this article, these kind of articles that are against digital, digital blackface, they get into a kind of school marmish, you know, um, you know, yeah. everybody has to, you know, get on the same page about what is racist and what isn't racist. And I think it's not realistic and we should just not concern ourselves with all of this stuff. Well, and also just the headline, what is digital, digital blackface and why is it wrong when white people use it? Okay, I, I, conceding that there is a bit of a thing where, all right, if you're, if you're using some of these memes, some of them might have a racial element to that. Conceding that point, if, if it's wrong to kind of use someone in that way and laugh at them in that way, and I agree, it, it, you can laugh at a poor black person if you're not laughing at them for being poor or for being black, everybody can be funny. Everybody can be funny. If, if that's not allowed, then like you're saying the person's a protected person and that's because they're so fragile and weak and that's fucked up. But if there's something kind of like not good about using these memes, and I agree that there's not, then it's kind of not good when anyone uses them, right? And I understand why it might be worse when a white person uses it. But if it's just kind of like, hey, that's not our best foot forward. Could you just kind of cool it? That should be a universal rule, right? Well, yeah, it just I seemed mean, like I this article is so frequently overstepping. And go ahead. I really agree with you. You're saying I'm you agree with me, so please go ahead. <laughs> I would say that's the um, the same issue you have with uh, the N-word. Um, it's kind of silly and unrealistic and untenable to say that, you know, certain identity groups have the right to say things that are reprehensible and cannot be said by other people and that there should be a kind of identity based policing on certain cultural behaviors, expressions, um, manners. It's not going to happen. So people are going to mm -hmm. be continuously policing. It's either, you know, you try to make, you know, distinctions based on what seems um, to be motivated by ill intent or not. And that's going to be a case by case, necessarily imperfect judgment call. Uh, and you kind of move on or, 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 or nobody does it. Um, but then you would have to have, you know, lots of black people on Twitter, you know, black Twitter originates most of these memes. They're not, 
Black Twitter is not doing this behind closed doors. It's it's, yep. it's public. So you can't kind of throw things out into the ether and then say, but but but, but don't touch it. Um, and of course, yeah, most, it's, most black yeah. people aren't actually saying that. Most black people, I think most users of black Twitter have, you know, profound senses of humor and aren't, you know, the school marms writing articles on CNN.com about uh, don't use the on fleek meme. I don't think that that's actually accurate right. to say black people are shattered by the use of memes. It's also this, you know, weird situation right. we're in now where people speak on behalf of black people and say how yes. we must be protected, but I'm not even sure that's what, that, that there's demand for those op-eds in CNN on CNN.com in the first no. place. I'm sure. Yeah, there might not be. <laughs> because you and I both work in media, we should both point out that one of the dynamics here with these articles getting written is, look, you're a writer, you're trying to figure out what do they publish? <laughs> what you got? What, you got to. What work. will my editor go for? <laughs> it, and a lot of times, you're just gonna you just pitch fucking anything. And maybe your editor, maybe maybe this writer, maybe he pitched this article, and it was one of twenty that he pitched. And his editor said, "Yeah," and he went that one, but he wrote it up anyway because it's your job. How many pieces did I write on last week tonight that I was like that one?